Hi, James Phelps here, uh, Commercial Range Sales Manager with Shooting Range Industries, and we are coming to you today from Hangtown Range in beautiful Placerville, California. Uh, we're here today to kind of showcase the range, uh, the equipment that SRI has provided to them. They have a 10 lane, two bay shooting range, 25 yard shooting distance, uh, rated pistol and rifle. So we're excited to showcase this, take a look at it, speak with the owner a little bit about his experience, and see what we can find out. All right, so like I said before, here at Hangtown, they have 10 lanes, two bays. So what we did with this, and pretty intentionally, was we split the 10 lanes into two bays. So it has five lane and then five lane. For a few reasons, we suggest doing this. Um, one being if you have specific individuals that want to come in or classes, law enforcement agencies, things like that, you can rent them one bay out and then have another one for your use commercially. Um, another reason is if your range is not so busy, say your range is not that busy, you only have individuals filling up part of your range, you can shut that other bay down, which will save you on your HVAC usage, power, all that good stuff. So um, in this five lane bay, we'll take a look at the equipment real quick. As you can see behind me, there's five stalls. To my right over here, probably to your left, you'll see kind of a screen in a segregated off area over here. That's our two lane bay. Uh, for our Milo Simulation Training Center that we'll take a look at as well. So, um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the bullet traps real quick. There's often uh, questions I get on those and some terminology we use specifically for our company on them. Things like side steel, things like knife edge connectors that we could take a look at real quick and uh, then we'll go from there. So we're at the bullet trap now in Bay 2 at Hangtown Range and some words I used before like knife edge connector side still. So here's our bullet traps. As you can see they're modular. There's a bullet trap per lane. Five lanes so you see five traps and they're tied together with what we call the knife edge connector. So the trap will come together, this armor slides over the top of it and ties it into it so it splits the bullet trap. Another term we use is side still. I often get questions, what's a side still? Why do you need side still? I don't understand it. So at the side over here, you can see that the steel is actually tied from the bullet trap and wraps into the side wall to where there's no angles, no chance of ricochet coming back and no chance of a round getting behind the bullet trap. It seals it off. So our bullet trap still bullet trap um, is only eight foot in depth, which is a big ad benefit for it for saving on square footage. From mouth to rear, you have eight foot. And obviously, of course, the ease of maintenance on it. Everybody raves about the ease of maintenance on it. Um, just taking care of it, walking it down, oiling the trap, and just removing the bucket at the rear and putting a new one in and you're done, as opposed to your rubber traps and other things that are very high maintenance, very costly. All right, so I'm currently in Bay 2 of Hangtown Range, uh, where we talked about they have 10 lanes, two bays. As you can see, it's separated off into the five lanes. And in here, they have the diamond plate aluminum stalls, our most popular by far, very robust, lasts a long time, shiny, uh, cleans up nicely, and uh, really brightens up the range. So probably our most popular due to the height, of course, having it nice and tall, you don't have the brass hopping in your shirt, and then depth-wise, so you're not getting the muzzle blast, all that good stuff. But this one's separated off a little differently. It actually has a little divider ball for the Milo Life Fire Training Simulation Center. Uh, almost like, a, we call it a little Milo suite, we call it. So the two lanes is separated off where you can run that Milo system without disturbing the other shooters and kind of having your own experience in the range. Yeah, I flew into Las Vegas to look at your equipment and visit with you. I was impressed with your traps. Uh, there was some traps that you had that somebody had returned that, that had been in use for quite a while and they just virtually showed no wear. So I was impressed with that. I uh, went and looked at your Milo demonstrator and that sold me on the Milo system. And so all in all, uh, the trip was, was very informative and, and certainly worth going. The whole design process from your standpoint uh, went very well. You came up with you know the criteria for the design, the, uh, the ventilation system criteria and design. Uh, the, the decision to make two bays out of it instead of one 10 bay thing, make two five bay uh, lanes, which was which was very a, a really a great idea. I mean, it's 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 cost that saved us a lot in operating costs, you know, during the slower periods of the days. Once we turned in the order, uh, the, you know, there was I was given a manufacturing window that you would, that you would need to produce the product and 
If I remember correctly, it was right on time. Uh, if anything, I was very premature in making the order because the, the equipment all delivered here and probably we stored it for probably six months while we were still doing our construction. But yeah, the, everything went well, everything came in well. Uh, there, was, there was really no issue there at all. Yeah, when your guy came out for the install, I mean, he was fast to start with. Uh, we were still working on bullet traps and doing other stuff, and he jumped right in. He set up all the dividers for us, set up the Milo system, helped with this Milo screen. Uh, in the day he was here, he got a lot done uh, that would have taken us, you know, a lot, a lot longer not knowing. But uh, yeah, he was he was very good, very very efficient. Got it done with very minimal amount of our help, quite frankly. Service in the traps is, is very easy. Uh, they went together easy. I think the the big benefit that that I see is how we reclaim the lead. You know, the just take the buckets out from the traps and we dump them in a big tub in the storage area, and it's it's been financially positive to do it that way versus from people, people I've talked to that have rubber traps that have to shut their range down for a week or so to, to mine the traps. Uh, you know, that was a concern. I didn't want to have to shut down for a, for a service like that. And so, yeah, we, we never have to shut down for, for that type of maintenance. And I think financially it's been it's been a lot better. I really like the fact that everything's self-contained and um, it makes it very easy on the maintenance side. Um, I also like the fact that the maintenance that is required, we can do ourselves. Um, it's simple to you know change out certain things, replace certain things if need be. Um, so just the fact that you know it's it's very very user friendly uh, coming from the maintenance standpoint. The Milo system is an excellent tool and it's something that isn't offered really anywhere else in our area. I utilize it in CCW classes because of the scenarios. I'm able to put people in a real life situation as opposed to having them shoot statically when you know, you're not gonna get much training from that. I love the, the ability to have two lanes on it so that I can have two shooters up there at a time and, and it's definitely more time efficient that way. But overall, it's a fantastic tool for training. Most people that go out on the Milo, most people have never done anything like that before. So um, it's something very new to them and very different. So it offers a different level of you know, a shooting experience, whether you know, they're just having fun or they're defensive shooters or competition shooters. There's something for everything on that system and that plays very well here with our demographic and community. So anybody that comes in and uses it loves it. You know, the real positive thing is they can use their own firearm. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of the virtuals out there where they use the cert guns, but to be able to use their own firearm is a, is a huge positive thing, I think. I think from the shooting range industry standpoint, uh, I would certainly recommend what you people have, have offered and done for us. Uh, I, like, I like everything we've got. And, uh, and they just, I think they've served our usage here well. On behalf of all of us here at Shooting Range Industry, we want to thank you for joining us today here at Hangtown Range, Placerville, California. Should you have any questions, need information, or looking to build a range, feel free to contact us at 702-362-3623 or email info at shootingrangellc.com. Thanks and have a great day.